Uh, Go North, this is an initiative that is being supported by your newspaper, God the Racing it. Post. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and this is a, a... you can't turn your nose up at this either. It's the creation of a post-Cheltenham Northern Jumping yeah. Festival, taking in Kelso, Carlisle, yeah. Musselburgh. Yeah, absolutely. Like it? Yeah, I think it's a really good thing. Um, and again, this is an example where the BHA often gets an awful lot of flack, um, but I know from, from sitting on a group, the racing group, that, that looks at various issues, there's been a real attempt to try and re-energise Northern Jumps Racing. We all know that Northern Flat Racing does incredibly well, but for whatever reason, Northern Jumping hasn't been keeping pace, and I made that point earlier on mm. about the Haydock of old, we'd have all these great Dickinson, mm. Stevenson, Easter be chasing hurdles, taking part in big races. That doesn't happen anymore. There's been no Northern Cheltenham Festival winner since 2014. When you look at the annual, annual Anglo-Irish classifications, the percentage of Northern horses towards the top of the sport is very small. We, well, the sport has tried to change things by uh, providing incentives to to run horses in the north, keep horses in the north with the Northern Light series. This is a further extension of that, and it comes at a time when there are signs that things are getting better. You know, we've had a fair number of Northern winners of graded races uh, this season. This will provide three days of racing when there'll be a real focus on the north in what is sometimes in jumps racing at least a quiet period between Cheltenham and Aintree, and I'm sure, I know the Racing Post is delighted to sponsor it. But of course one of the barometers of success for the people who run Kelso, Musselburgh and Carlisle will be big southern based trainers <laughs> taking star <laughs> horses up there, or horses who are just sort of on the cusp of, of, of Cheltenham horses. Yeah, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's exciting for Northern Racing, and, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll take off, but, um, you know, and, and it gives plenty of options track-wise, you know, you, a, a horseman might not suit Cheltenham, whereas now they've got something to aim at on maybe a more flatter track that's not ancient, you know, they've, they've got more options um, for, for those types of horses.